Hello everyone, this is Pino Trogo from San Francisco State University and this is the introduction to Drawing for Designers class. Today is uh, January 24th, uh, 2021 and um, this is going to be the first assignment which is how to draw the title block and your border for your drawings which will be something that we need to do on all drawings unless unless there's a special um, special instruction not to do so okay so i'm going to first yeah just just speak about it generally uh, so all the work we're going to do well it's going to be either vertical or horizontal and it's either going to be eight and a half by 11 or um, nine by 12 i'm going to just leave it up open um, because this may be more easily got and um and so we're going to put the title block inside these drawings okay and that's at the bottom which is where we're going to put the information and then we're going to put a border around the drawing okay and i'm just going to spell out what the dimensions are going to be so it's going to be three quarter inches all around okay and then this title block is going to be um I'm sorry, this actually is gonna be half inch. Take that back, that's half inch. The title block itself, it's gonna be three quarters of an inch uh, from the border, okay? So this will be the border, which goes all around. Okay, the title block will be at the bottom. And in the title block, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, put a couple of lines, light lines, something like that. And inside that, we're gonna write the information and that will be your name, um, the name of the assignment. Let's see, it's gonna be assignment name, first assignment number, then assignment name. Uh, then I think, uh, let's just say, your name. And then my name and maybe 220, just so we know what it is. And then the date. Okay, so we have basically one, two, three, four elements. Okay, and they'll fit here, you know, which, however they fit, you know, you can move these bars um, sideways. Um, so maybe you start writing there, then you do the first bar right here, etc. cetera. Um, and that space, the title block will be um, about three, three sixteenths of an inch. And three sixteenths of an inch is this much right here. Okay, so if you take an inch, and you divide into 16 parts and then take three parts of that, you get about that space, okay? And that will be about the right space for your for your lettering because you need, it needs to be fairly small so you can fit, um, you can fit everything. Um, you can abbreviate things too. Uh, and that is also, so this is 3 16th for uh, text and it's this part right there. And in millimeters, that would be about four millimeters. Okay. Or three sixteenths of an inch. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a sample. And for the first few drawings, um, it's okay if you don't have a um, a straight edge. I mean you should all have a straight edge if you're designers or somewhere close to designers. Um, with inches and millimeters and centimeters. And then you're gonna need two triangles, okay? And I'm gonna talk more about this, but um, that's a 45, 45, 90, 60, 30, 90, meaning the angles on the triangles. And, um, but for the very first assignments, which is three, three quick sketching assignments, um, you can do um, you can do the title block by hand in a, in such a manner 
Well, let's say you could do it several ways. You could measure if you just had the straight edge, right? You could measure three quarters of an inch at the top. Uh, oh, I haven't talked about pencils. So for sketching, you want a pencil that's fairly soft, uh, HB, B or 2B. And this is a brand called Palomino. It's a particular one is called Blackwing. It's, uh, it's expensive actually, but um, I just saw in the newspaper today or yesterday that they were saying best pencil for the new essentials. Um, and it's a Palomino, the same one, but it's a different kind. It says $5 for 12. So not super cheap still, but, um, but it's a great pencil in different grades, okay? Um, so you can see for sketching, that's quite, you know, it's soft and it feels great. For drawing, for technical drawing, you should have one of these mechanical pencils, which holds a two millimeter lead, which is much better than these dinky little leads, which constantly break in this particular type of pencils, okay, mechanical pencils. Um, so you need these kind of leads for that and these kind of leads for this, but I don't really like this. I like these guys right here. And these guys you can sharpen um, by taking a little bit of sandpaper, going like that. And ideally you go, it's still pretty rough, this sandpaper, but um, then I just use my blue jeans to get rid of the extra lead. Um, but then if you wanna make it really nice, you can take a, a little bit of this dark sandpaper, which is more like for metal to get a better, a better point. Um, and if you want to splurge, you could get one of these gadgets. Um, and, I, and I talk about tools in another video, so um, which makes you really sharp and really super nice. And with this gadget, you can make it, you could do it by hand too, but you can make the point about 250th of an inch. Really, 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 really. Um, that's out of focus now, but you can see it's pretty sharp. Um, so I will, um, I will quickly show you how, again, for the next week or so, or two weeks, you could do these sort of bare bones, okay? And that is, you could take your sheet. And by the way, for these first few assignments, it's perfectly fine to use um, regular paper. This is nice little bit off white sketching paper that I got from school, unfortunately, but not in school. Otherwise I could give you tons of this paper. We literally have a mountain of it, um, but we're not there. So, but later for the technical drawings, you want to have um, paper that's a little bit um, stiffer, okay? And I'll talk about different papers later. Um, there's already a bunch of videos about these things. So the quick and dirty kind of title block, what you can do for the, for the time being is this, you can find a board. In this case, it's a box, an old box, film box. And you can align your paper, okay, with the edge. Um, be careful not to cut your fingers with paper cuts. Um, and while you hold it, you can use the pencil as a guide, your fingers as a guide, the middle finger, in fact, as your guide and hold the pencil like that and kind of gauge more or less half an inch or you could measure beforehand. And then you can see I'm using, I'm using the edge of the, um, of that board. And this could be, you know, your table, if you have a nice, okay. So this would be a nice and quick way. Um, it's a trick I learned from my dad who was a, a bricklayer and um, or a mason. And sometimes we had to mark lines very quickly on stuff. Woodworkers use the same technique too. Okay, now it's a little harder to do now three quarters from that. So what you can do, <laughs> let's see maybe use some other finger. In other words, as long as you set a distance, there you go. And now I'm gonna do two lines that are a little bit. A 
lighter. Okay, with this pencil, which you just used, is everything is a little bit um, dark. But so there you go. That's your quick title block. I was a little off with this dimension because I can see that that's not three quarters. It's a little bit less. No, actually, it's right on three quarters. I'm sorry. I underestimated my my sense of dimensions, and that's about half an inch. Okay. Um, and then I'll have another exercise after this one to do the lettering, but basically the lettering, um, just try to keep it neat, okay? So maybe try to use the same angle, you know, throughout. And this is kind of my own natural angle, you know, maybe, maybe you hold the pencil a little different. I don't know, maybe your slants are gonna be the other way. Um, it doesn't matter, most people do it this way because let's see. Yeah, most people are right-handed, whatever. Doesn't matter, left-handed, right-handed. Um, and then just put your information there, okay? Okay, so your information would be, uh, let's say number one, uh, title block. This is actually the assignment. Okay, and then you have a break there. Um, Then you could have um, your name. And in this case, I'm gonna have my name again <laughs> because I'm both the student and the teacher. Okay, and I'm gonna be really strict about this title block business. Um, if you don't do it, I'm thinking right now there will be like a automatic D. Okay, so that's that won't be good. So just just do it. Um, and now the date, so, and the date will be, I think, the date that it is, um, I can't remember now if it's the date that it's due or the date that it's assigned. Um, okay, there, it doesn't, it's not amazing, but it's actually not bad. Um, that's all it takes. I mean, if you wanna do even fancier lettering, that's okay, but you should at least do that and not just like, you know, something like this, uh, you know, and I've seen this, you know, like that inside that, if there is a block at all. Um, so if you actually have a, uh, a tool, what you can do, um, if you had a parallel edge, which some people have, but like a table, a board with a ruler that can go up and down then you would tape this down. It's, it's helpful to tape it down no matter what. So in fact, why don't I do that real quick, just for this, um, for this version that I'm gonna do with, um, with the um, straight edge and the triangles, okay? And I mean, one way you can do it, and I'm not going to switch to this guy already. Well, actually, for the video, because it's hard to see, I'll stick to. Um, let me see. Oh, it's okay. I have a soft pencil there. Um, you would have a 2H, which is a little bit harder than this, but for the video, that wouldn't show very well. So I'm just now blunting it a little bit so you see a little more. Um, so you can just measure, and I mean, you have to measure at some point, right? So I'm gonna measure half inch there. Rather, what, what I mean is I could measure half inch there, half inch here, half inch at the top, and half inch and then three quarters at the bottom. Um, and then in the middle of those three quarters, which is three eighths, um, you would find, you have to kind of split it a little bit, the three. Um, and now I could just do like this, you know, I, I could, um, no, if you have just one, you have to make two measurements, right? Top and bottom. And then you would connect the two spots, top and bottom, right? Which is, you know, it's okay, it takes longer. Um, but what I like is actually measure once. Um, once again, these are the triangles I'm gonna talk about in the other video. Some have markings already for inches and centimeters. 
some don't. So if you if they don't like these guys, you have to have of course another element that has the markings. Um, so the trick would be in general to do as little measuring as possible. So if you just measure once here, then using these two triangles and lining them up like this, and I'm going to talk about that later in another video. Um, it's okay if you cross your lines a little bit. Um, and now I'm just going to assume that my paper is perfectly square because I'm using the edges. So I'm, I'm lining it up, I'm moving it up and down like this, and then I'm locking it with my hand like this. Um, and when I say crossing, I mean like right there would be okay if you cross a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect, but don't go to the end because, so now I'm just gonna pick up the title block here. You can see it's already short. Well, it's short because my triangle is small. So, but, okay, so these lines are gonna be lighter and I'm actually making them a little bit smaller than three, three sixteenths because it's, um, it's I'm, I already see it's a little bit too, um, too wide, so it forces me to make the drawing a little bit, the writing of the letters a little bit. Now, when I pick it up, I have to, you know, make sure I pick it up correctly. And I finish like that. Okay. Um, and normally what I do actually, I make these lines thinner and then when I know that they're good, I might go, um, not freehand really, but I mean, I might go like this to kind of make them more pronounced. And these lines should be, except for the ones for the actual letters, should be um, the same intensity as your, as your main drawing, okay? So they should really stand out. And I've heard, Students have asked me, oh, why can't we Xerox this? Why can't do we need, really need it? And the answer is no, don't Xerox it. And yes, do it every time because it's a good, it's a good routine, a little bit of discipline in terms of just being consistent. And also we're designers. So it does look like a designer's drawing, a designer's assignment as opposed to just any assignment. Uh, I can't get in there. The camera is in the way, so I made a mess there. But um, okay, so here I'm going to again just quickly write number one uh, title block. Um, and then I make a break. And now that I know that I have lots of space, I can title block. Um, let's see my name, which would be your name. Uh, now my name. And I think I forgot to write after my name. Yeah, 220. So maybe we could say that's 220 and then the date. So, yeah, see, I'm getting a little sloppy here. Um, January 24th, you could abbreviate that. Okay, so once again, this is almost over. We're gonna have half inch, half inch. Um, Half inch, half inch here. Uh, this is three quarters. And actually the uh, the lettering, I would say three sixteenths or smaller. And those should be centered there, okay. Um, and that's it. So, right, and the paper can be either eight and a half by 11 um, or nine by 12. And nine by 12 is nice because it gives you a little, a little more um, 
a little more room. And these are actually the, uh, the types that I recommend in the other video about materials, okay? Which I think I've already sent you. This is the sketch paper, similar. This is Bristol. And then very important for later um, is actually tracing paper, okay? Which is a translucent paper that allows you to, you know, it's kind of like opacity in Photoshop to see through. And, you know, it's very, very convenient if you want to, you know, let's say trace something and then check and see if you like it. It's like instant opacity, okay, on and off. Um, so tracing paper is more, maybe the second most important thing besides a pencil um, and regular paper. Um, okay, so why don't we just say that? Yeah, so no title block unless again it's specified otherwise to not have one um, equals auto D. Okay, so you don't want that. Just make the title block so it's, it gives a nice presentation, okay? All right, that's it. That's the first video. Thank you, bye.